Hi, I'm Lisa, and this is Threshold in China. Today, we are going to share some exciting tech innovations and announcements that happened in China recently. This year, the Terminator franchise celebrates its 14th anniversary. One question that often comes up when watching these films is how does a time-traveling robot like the Terminator never runs out of battery during its mission? Well, in the movie, they have some kind of technology to enable that. But in the real world, a Beijing-based startup called Betabolt Technology has made a groundbreaking announcement on the 8th of January. They developed the world's first micro-atomic energy battery. Atomic energy batteries, also known as nuclear batteries or radioactive isotope batteries, operate by converting the energy released from the decay of nuclear isotopes into electrical energy through semiconductor converters. This technology was extensively researched by the US and the Soviet Union in the 1960s. Currently, thermoelectric nuclear batteries are used for aerospace applications, but they are large, heavy, and expensive, thus making them unsuitable for civilian use. But the battery we're talking about today is incredibly small, measuring just 15 times 15 times 5 millimeters smaller than a coin, yet it can produce 100 microvolts of energy safely and reliably for 50 years without needing to be recharged. The nuclear battery generates power every second a minute, producing 8.64 joules of energy per day and 3,153 joules of energy per year. Multiple batteries can be connected to deliver higher output. The stable, zero-emission energy can help power AI and autonomous technology driving China's next revolution. In a press conference, company CEO Zhang Wei revealed that the battery works by combining a decay of nickel-63 isotope with China's first diamond semiconductor module. This unique integration allows the battery to be dramatically miniaturized while keeping production costs low. The company's ability to create thin diamond wafers only 10 micrometers thin is at the core of this technology. These wafers enable the efficient conversion of the radioactive decay from nickel-63 into electricity. The battery has entered the pilot production stage and will soon be mass-produced and released on the market. This atomic energy has numerous applications including aerospace, AI devices, medical equipment, mine systems, advanced sensors, small drones, and micro-robots. The company plans to launch a 1 volt battery in 2025, which has the potential to power devices like phone indefinitely without the need for recharging. They can also provide continuous power to drones, which currently have limited flight times of around 15 minutes. Unlike chemical batteries such as lithium-ion batteries, atomic energy batteries have a much higher energy density. One gram of battery is capable of storing 3,300 volts hours of energy. Also, they are not prone to catching fire or exploding, and in general have a longer lifespan. In addition, atomic energy batteries can withstand harsh environments and varying loads. You know how your phone sometimes turn off when it's too cold? Well, that's not going to happen anymore. These atomic energy batteries can operate within a temperature range of minus 60 to 120 degrees Celsius without any changes in performance and self-discharge. Betabolt claims that the atomic batteries are completely safe, emitting no external radiation. This makes them suitable for medical devices implanted in the human body, such as pacemakers and artificial hearts. Additionally, atomic batteries are environmentally friendly as the radioactive source transforms into stable isotopes after the decay period, posing no threats or pollution. Currently, Betabolt has already registered patent in Beijing and is in the process of registering PCT global patents. And the startup is collaborating with various nuclear research institutions and universities in China to further advance atomic battery technology. In the dense jungle of the southern China, there is an unsolved mystery. There once lived a creature, 3 meters tall, weighing 500 kilograms, twice the size of a modern-day gorilla. 
the Gigantopithecus lackey, also known as the giant ape. They are the largest primates ever to walk the Earth. Yet, despite their enormous presence, they vanished from the face of the planet, leaving only tooth behind. What caused them to disappear while other Asian great apes survived? To shed light on this ancient enigma, a team led by Dr. Zhang Yingqi from the Chinese Academy of Science examined the 22 caves scattered throughout southern China to find out about the last days of the Gigantopithecus. They used radiometric dating technique, which is looking at clues left behind by radioactive elements naturally presented in these materials to tell us how old they are, utilizing 157 different radiometric age obtained from six distinct methods. Using these data, the team established a timeline and mapped out the final presence of the Gigantopithecus. As the researchers delved deeper into the cave, they also explored the ancient environment that the giant ape once lived in. They analyzed the remnants of plants and animals and reconstructed the past. And what they've discovered was a mosaic of forest and grassland that arrived approximately 2.3 million years ago. But as the team ventured closer to the extinct window, the story took a turn. Between 295,000 and 215,000 years ago, the environment underwent a dramatic transformation. As the difference between the seasons became more pronounced, like summer got hotter and winter got colder, that brought about changes in plant communities and the development of open forest habitat. And this was a challenge that Gigantopithecus struggled to overcome. While its close relative, orangutan, adapted to changing circumstances by becoming smaller, more agile, and adjusting its feeding behavior and habitat preferences, Gigantopithecus took a different approach. Despite the lack of its preferred food sources, Gigantopithecus persisted by relying on less nutritious alternative food sources, resulting in a significant reduction in dietary diversity. Paradoxically, its size continued to grow larger and bulkier, while the geographic range of its feeding activities drastically diminished. As a result, the population of Gigantopithecus faced prolonged survival pressure, gradually dwindling until it eventually faced extinction. In contrast to the adaptable species like orangutan, who quickly responded to environmental changes, Gigantopithecus blackie behaved a, in a more stubborn nature, resisting the need to adapt. Unfortunately, this led to its demise. The researchers were amazed by their findings as they pieced together the puzzle of the Gigantopithecus extinction. Their work not only uncovered the tragic fate of this magnificent creature, but also provided insights into primates' evolution. However, our knowledge of these distant relatives remain limited due to a lack of fossil evidence. We still have questions about their preferred habitat. Did they primarily live on trees or on the ground? What's their place in the evolutionary tree? Why did their size change? Further exploration and discovery of crucial fossils are necessary to gain more insights into these mysterious beings. As the sun sets over the ancient caves, the scientists pack their tools and notes, carrying with them the weight of the newfound knowledge. Although the mystery of the Gigantopithecus blackie has been somewhat unraveled, the tale of its existence reminds us of the delicate and resilient nature of life on Earth. And that is all for today's Threshold. We hope you like this new section on science and technology in China. As usual, we welcome your feedback and thoughts.